Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, well, we are more than 24 hours now after the release of the Patch Tuesday updates for security. Of course, some people will have had in these updates debug fixing updates from last month. And, of course, some of you already had installed that, so you'll have the standard uh, fixes that you simply get uh, for security. Now, um, it's not a super big month, but it's a big month in a way because there is a zero-day flaw that is, of course, exploded in the wild already fixed in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, of course, the question that is asked, and this is what uh, we're addressing in this video, I've been asked a few times today, how is the rollout going for the Windows updates? Um, well, from what we see right now and from what I look in the blog posts, um, nothing unusual is happening for now. We're 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a few days for something to pop up that, that you know really stands out of the crowd. But, um, you know, because I always get these people telling me, well, you know, look at all these people having problems. Yeah, well, there's always that. And this is what I call the background noise. Uh, either your PC has something that's not right and the update just didn't go through. Um, you know, I say it all the time, 99% of problems with Windows Update, with Windows in general, are not Windows related. They are PC related or user related. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I see is often somebody not patient enough that just shuts down the PC right in the middle of updates. Well, you're looking for trouble if you do that. So um, for now, nothing unusual. So for those that are thinking, should I install it now or not? For now, nothing unusual. Of course, if you have an MSI motherboard, it's extremely important to understand if you're one of those that could be affected by the blue screen. Uh, look at my videos that I posted. There's even a link to uh, MSI with all the models that are affected. Um, make sure that you have updated your BIOS that you have fixed that problem before you even think of moving on because that blue screen was from the bug fixes of last month and they will actually appear again with today's update because these updates will be installed at the same time if you haven't done so. But for the rest, um, I think the, uh, the uh, zero day security flaw is actually uh, important enough to uh, to say that you know you should install the update, and you should be um, continuing uh, to uh, update your system as soon as possible when you get security updates like we have today. So both Windows 10 and Windows 11, nothing unusual that we could see for now. If anything pops up, of course we are here to talk about that. This is the reason for this channel. Uh, having as fast as possible of any, um, you know, problems pop up that we can talk about, we could help, we can fix, and so on. Don't forget also, this is the week <laughs> of zero days. It's the week that not only do you update Windows, it's the week you update your iPhones, your uh, Mac computers. It's the week you update every browser that you have. It's the week that you update Adobe acrobat it's the week that you update every single thing that you can update because uh zero days it's we'll call it the zero day week if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching